Francopotent, Francopotent German, F. Ra and G. K. A. Po. 10. T. At Listen, born 22 July 1974, is a German actress. She first appeared in the comedy film After Five in the Forest Primeval, 1995, for which she won a Bavarian Film Award for Best Young Actress. Her breakthrough came in 1998 when she portrayed the titular role in the acclaimed action thriller Run Lola Run, for which she won a Bambi Award for Best Actress. She received further critical acclaim and a Bavarian Television Award nomination for her performance in the television film Opern Ball, also 1998. After half a decade of well-received roles in German productions, Potent made the transition into Hollywood with her role in the biographical crime film Blow 2001 and achieved wider recognition for her appearances in The Born Identity 2002 and The Born Supremacy 2004. She portrayed communist revolutionary Tamara Bunk in Chi 2008 and psychologist Anita Gregory in The Conjuring 2 2016. Her other notable films include Anatomy 2000, The Princess and the Warrior 2000, Creep 2004, Romulus, My Father 2007, Eichmann 2007, and Muse 2017. Potent has starred in the television series Copper 2012-2013, Taboo 2017, and currently Claws. She also played recurring roles in the second seasons of American Horror Story 2012 and The Bridge 2014. Early Life The elder of two children, Potent was born in Munster, West Germany, and raised in nearby Dulman. Her mother, Hildegard, is a medical assistant, and her father, Dieter Potent, is a teacher. Her Italian surname stems from her great-grandfather, a Sicilian slater who migrated to Germany during the 19th century. When she was 17 years old, Potent spent a few months as an exchange student in Humble, a suburb of Houston, Texas. Career, Rur, 1990s. After finishing high school in Germany, Potent enrolled at the Otto Falkenberg School of Performing Arts in Munich. Potent took acting jobs outside school time and appeared in her first movie in the 1995 student film Off Brutch. She was then spotted by a casting agent and appeared in the film Natch von Fimmold After Five in The Forest Primeval, directed by her then-boyfriend, Hans Christian Schmidt. She played the role of a 17-year-old girl named Anna who, in search of freedom in an urban environment, runs away from home with a boy who has a crush on her. The film premiered at the 1995 Hof International Film Festival and opened in German theaters on 25 April 1996. She received the 1996 Bavarian Film Award for Young Talent for her work in this film. She subsequently finished her last year of training at the Lee Strasberg Theater Institute in Manhattan. Potent returned to Europe and worked in German and French films. Her breakthrough came with 1998's Lola Rent Run Lola Run after meeting the director, Tom Tickler, in a cafe. Specifically written for her persona, her role was that of a woman who needs to obtain 100,000 Deutsche Mark in 20 minutes to save her boyfriend's life. Budgeted at Usone Dollar Million, the art house thriller was a critical and commercial success, grossing U.S. $14.05 million worldwide. Variety wrote that her performance was heroic, fierce, frightened, and vulnerable all at once, while a film critic Kong called her casting a smart choice. Following her newfound success, she starred opposite Timu Arama in Downhill City 1999 a small-scale drama directed by Finnish director Hanu Salonen, and in the romantic comedy Bin Ixkan, about people having trouble with love and identity, which was released on 17 September 1999 in Germany. 2000s In the German-language horror film Anatomy 2000, she starred as a medical student who wins a place at an exclusive Heidelberg Medical School, where she uncovers a gruesome conspiracy by a secret anti-Hippocratic society. The film was a box office success in Germany, grossing you $10.05 million domestically, and Variety, in its review for the film, 
remarked, boasting a gutsy performance from sturdy young German star Frank Potent Run Lola Run, anatomy is creepy, sometimes gruesome widescreen fun that pushes all the right buttons. Outperforming Scream and also in 2000 she had the starring role in the romantic drama The Princess and the Warrior, directed by Tickler, her Run Lola Run director. In the film, she portrayed a psychiatric hospital nurse who, after a near-death experience, enters into a relationship with an anguished former soldier Benno Furman, also her co-star in Anatomy, who lapses into criminality. The independent film was favorably received by critics. The film critics stated that Potent proves her versatility as an actress here, with a much more subdued character, but is still capable of delivering powerhouse emotional scenes, while the consensus of review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes was more slow-moving than Run Lola Run. This film nonetheless offers She received nominations for the European Film Award and the German Film Award for Best Actress. Potent's first English language role was that of an airline stewardess who becomes engaged to cocaine smuggler George Jung in the biographical crime film Blow alongside Johnny Depp. The film received mixed reviews, while it grossed you $83.02 million worldwide. She played a film editor in the controversial independent drama Storytelling 2001 with Leo Fitzpatrick and Selma Blair. It premiered at the 2001 Cannes Film Festival and received a limited release in most international market. Potent Next found a much wider recognition from audiences for her performance in The Born Identity 2002, co-starring Matt Damon. In the film, she played a European woman who grows closer to the titular character, a man suffering from extreme memory loss and attempting to discover his true identity amidst a clandestine conspiracy within the Central Intelligence Agency. A positive critical reception greeted the film upon its release and budgeted at US $60 million. It grossed US $214 million globally. After her role in the film, she starred in the American films All I Want 2002 and I Love Your Work 2003 and in the German production Blueprint 2000. She briefly reprised her role in the German horror sequel Anatomy 2 2003, and also took on for the second time her part in The Born Supremacy 2004, which made US $288.05 million around the globe. In 2004, she starred in the British-German horror film Creep, as a woman locked in the London underground overnight who finds herself being stalked by a hideously deformed killer living in the sewers below. Despite mixed reviews, the film grossed US $3.02 million in UK cinemas. View London wrote, The performances are good, particularly potent, who avoids scream queen cliches by making her character surprisingly unlikable. Kate is rude and arrogant in her early scenes, and the fact that she's German is, of course, a coincidence. In 2006, Potent appeared in the German coming-of-age drama Elementartelchen Atomized. She wrote and directed Der Die Tolkirsch Ausgrad, a silent also released in 2006. She next starred with Eric Bana and Cody Smith McPhee in the Australian drama film Romulus, My Father 2007, about the struggle of a couple to raise their son amid great adversity. For her portrayal, she was nominated for an Australian Film Industry Award for Best Lead Actress. Starting in May 2007, Potent had a three-episode recurring arc in the FX drama The Shield, where she played Dairo Kesakian, the ruthless godmother of LAS Armenian Mafia. Also in 2007, she appeared in Eichmann 2007, a biographical film detailing the interrogation of Adolf Eichmann. In Chi 2008, a two-part biopic about Argentine Marxist revolutionary Ernesto Che Guevara, Potent took on the role of communist revolutionary Tamara Buck. She described the film as really epic and very emotional during an interview with Vulture magazine. The film, first screened at the Cannes Film Festival, garnered a positive critical response while it made U.S. $40.09 million worldwide. The New Yorker, Pointing out Potent remarked that major figures come and go, 
diverting the plot without registering much of an impact, and the Hollywood reporter described her part as a small role and felt that the actress seems utterly uncomfortable in every scene. In 2009, she appeared in the House television series, two-part episode Broken. 2010's potent film the American neo-war film Shanghai in Bangkok, Thailand, with production wrapping in August 2008. The film, set in the 1940s Chinese spy world, was released on 9 June 2010 in China, and on 2 October 2015 in North America. In 2011, she played the leading role of a passenger in the drama The Sinking of the Laconia, about the Laconia incident. The two-part television film first aired in January 2011 on BBC Two. Potent starred in BBC America's first original scripted series, Copper, as a shrewd Prussian businesswoman and the Madam of a Brothel in 1860s New York City during the American Civil War. The show premiered on 9 August 2012 and had the largest debut in the network's history. It was subsequently renewed for a second season, but the BBC announced its cancellation following its finale. Potent subsequently had a two-episode appearance in American Horror Story Asylum as a woman who claims to be Holocaust victim and diarist and Frank. In 2014, Potent landed a role on the second season of the FX series The Bridge as a Leaner Natched, a fixer for the cartel. She returned to the big screen in the horror sequel The Conjuring 2 as real-life German-British parapsychologist Anita Gregory, who investigated the Enfield poltergeist case in the late 20th century. The Hollywood Reporter found her to be curiously sidelined for much of the action, but with a worldwide gross of U.S. $320.03 million, it emerged as Potent's most widely seen film. Also in 2016, she obtained the two-episode role of a calculated and determined chief inspector in the second season of the Canadian supernatural series Dark Matter, and in 2017, she was cast in a supporting role in the BBC period drama series Taboo, alongside Tom Hardy. Personal Life In April 2011, Potent and her partner, actor Derek Richardson, had a daughter named Polly. In mid 2012, the couple married in a private ceremony. In 2013, they had their second daughter, Georgie. Filmography Film Film Television Video Games Discography Believe 1998 Wishkom Zoomer 1998 Easy Day 1999 Fly With Me 2001 Awards and Nominations <laughs>